Now, I don't know about you lot, but if I didn't like a country, a people, a culture, their history, their way of doing things, I wouldn't be living amongst them, let alone going on their TV stations to make a handsome living slagging them off. But that's lucrative business here in the UK, unfortunately, and we're just sitting back taking it. Of course, you don't have to watch the following people on telly, and yet they are constantly paraded in front of us to tell us how bad we are as a nation, as a culture, uh, people. And yes, I've mentioned these idiots before, these waste grifters, Yasmin Alibai Brown, Dr. Shola Moss, Adil Ray, and Narinda Kaur. And so Narinda Kaur is doing the rounds at the moment. She's on GB News, Good Morning Britain. And her snake oil that she is selling to the people is that white people are bad, the British are evil. Of course, nothing could be further from the truth. Now, her latest act of outrageous, blatantly anti-white, anti-British bigotry is that she tweeted calling for the English St George flag to be replaced because it's racist. Bloody hell. Now, of course, as you all know, I am not English, I am Welsh. I live in England amongst the best people I've ever known. And I can't just sit idly by and let fellow Britons get defamed and walked over like this as they are on a daily basis. The English are the most hated and despised of all the nations here in Britain, and it's deeply unfair. Yes, I know the English are not, and some of you might be angry with this, but you're not native, <laughs> as the Welsh and the Scots are. Well, especially the Welsh, but you have earned your place here. You belong here. And I know that sounds controversial, but it's the truth. But it's the English ancestors' blood that has soaked into the ground, along with the Welsh and the Scots, which has helped make this island, this kingdom, this empire, the greatest in the world. Now, of course, Narinda Kaur has received some backlash over this comment, and rightly so. And then she followed up with uh, various... Uh, disgusting remarks, racist remarks on her Twitter account, but this one stood out to me. She said, and I quote, If a flag is sadly aligned with far-right racists, then I'm sorry it does not represent the best of Britain. We are better than that. We are multicultural. We are tolerant. And that flag represents something sinister, I'm sorry to say. Moderate voices need to reclaim it, end quote. Now, the St George's flag has been around for centuries, at least 800 years. And I dare say that flag has been around for far, far longer than Narinda Kaur or her family ever stepped foot on our shores. That flag was incorporated into the Union flag, and that Union flag represents the empire that people like Narinda Kaur despise so much. And yes, there were some aspects of the British Empire that weren't right. However, uh, those were the days, that was the time it existed and things were done differently. However, saying that, it did bring a lot of good as well. The good outweighs the bad. It brought education. It brought health care. It brought sanitation. It brought democracy. It brought a rule of law. And it dragged some backwater countries into the present, and thus turning these countries into prosperous countries that allowed its people to drag themselves out of poverty. So there are many reasons to be proud to be British. There are many reasons to be proud to be English. And there is nothing sinister whatsoever about the St George's flag, in my opinion. Now, can you imagine the row? Because Narinda Kaur is Indian by birth. If I popped over there, as I am, and I sat there in front of Indians on their television screens, asking them, are we ashamed to be Indian? Because that is exactly what Narinda Kaur is doing. And she is a growing number of sinister individuals who are out to attack uh, the English people, and the British way of life. And the Scots and the Welsh should really take notice, because little do they know, they're being attacked as well. Because do you really think your nationalist parties, Plaid Cymru, the Scottish National Party, etc., even the woke, liberal, Welsh Labour Party, do you think they have your interests at heart? Think again, dig deeper, look at what they're doing, look at what they're saying, look at who they are pandering to, and look who they are putting as your representatives. And for GB News to parade this blatant racist on television on a regular basis to slag us off, and yet they won't touch Tommy Robinson and have him on, I think it's disgraceful. It's hypocrisy and it's fear. They are scared of these anti-white racists who use their overused race cards every time they get called out for something. And there we go. That's my video. That's my tuppence. That's what I think. 
Let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, Roger Trout.